and hopefully your doors have not sagged, your walls haven't settled so much that you can't uh, you can't get them adjusted on your own and get them to where you're at a happy medium without having to contact somebody. You, you call a door company in here, I, you know, all these bottom doors, I've, I've literally, I will have touched every single door down here except one door, and that door was in here. That door's, that door's working fine. That's a, uh, a metal door, by the way, but I could have adjusted that had I needed to have adjusted that, but we already talked about that door. If you look on certain videos, but I've touched every other door. I'll touch these double doors and that other door, and I've touched every single door down here, making sure the hinges, uh, the hinge screws were tight and the ones that were loose, how we went ahead and tightened those with longer screws and how we got them in there and all that kind of stuff. We did all of these doors, you remember? All of them. And I wasn't afraid to do it. I, I was, I knew I could do it, and I enjoyed making these videos because when I make this, these videos, you can see exactly the thought process and the different things that I have to do to get through on fixing these doors. And if I can do it, I know you can do it too. I'm gonna take a look at these other doors here and I'll show you how to adjust these doors. See, these are cabinet doors. Look at that. See how, see a big gap up there? See that big gap? You look down here, look how big this gap is as opposed to this one. That Actually, this one's a little bit bigger too. I can. I can kind of make that a little bit tighter. And I'll show you that. See, they probably should be about like that. Isn't that a nice, see, see that right there? You can tell that one's smaller than that gap. And look, this door looks just a hair lower than this door. Not very much, but I, I think I can fix that tomorrow. Even where the hinges are. See, the hinges are located on this. And you may think, oh, there's no way. How can you adjust that? See how this one? It's just a hair lower than this one. Not very much. But I, I can take a look at that kind of stuff uh, tomorrow. This one, see the right hand door? It's just a hair lower than the other one. See the gap on this drawer? Now look at the gap over here. How much bigger this gap is as opposed to this. And these are pre-finished. Um, melamine cabinets. And all of that stuff can be adjusted. Uh, I'll take a look at all that kind of stuff. First thing I wanted to do through this house was get all the doors adjusted, get, uh, get them cleaned up, get everything done so I know that they're ready for the painter. I got two more days. I worked on them all day today. I've got all day tomorrow. And I got the following day to do some other stuff if I need to before the painters come. The painters are coming on uh, three days from now and there's gonna be like six or seven guys in here I'm hoping that they're gonna let me video quite a bit of stuff they're gonna have to put all kinds you know all their drop claws down they're gonna have to mask off the windows and I'm not sure what they're gonna do they may mask off this this ceiling fan and I don't think they're gonna take it down and then the question is what are they gonna do around these trims are they gonna take the trims down are they gonna have me take the trims down I mean, it'd probably be better than trying to paint around them, you know. Now those, that's a, uh, uh, a speaker, and those speakers are controlled from upstairs, which was kind of cool. There's another one. I know they'll mask off around those. But there's going to be some different things they're going to do. They're going to paint all the baseboard again. They're going to paint the baseboard a brighter white, which means once they paint the walls, they're going to have to paint the baseboard. Are they going to paint the baseboard first? And then the walls afterwards, because they're going to spray. I think they're going to spray paint, you know, with a with spray rig. They're going to spray all the baseboard, I believe, because he told me he was going to get a spray rig in here, a, a little small one, and he's going to spray these doors. These doors look way better sprayed. And, and when they were installed, initially they sprayed all these. And they probably sprayed them through the house after they were installed, or they took them, uh, uh, they, they, uh, could have installed the doors and then they could have taken them all off, put them in the garage and lined them up at 45 degree angles, reattached them and sprayed them all down there and brought them back up here. I don't know how they did it, but they, this is all sprayed. This is, this is like a press board uh, material. It's called MDF, M as in Mary, D as in David, F as in Frank, MDF material. This is not real wood, but it paints up really nice. It comes pre-finished white and these doors are, are like, MDF uh, 
I think they're MDF or, or a nice paint grade type finish. They're not, I don't think this is, this is not real wood, but it paints up really super nice. But, and lots of times painters come in after the fact to repaint and they might use a mini roller with this. And then if you do that, you have to use a paintbrush to, to touch up around certain areas and run the mini roller. Once you run the mini roller, it casts a, a little texture on there. So you can't, you can't do the mini roller. And then if you use a paintbrush, cutting in around certain areas you can see that's more fine than where the mini roller is and so you get that kind of stuff but he's not going to do that he's going to mask off this whole thing he's going to spray these in place he said so that's going to be interesting uh, on how he's going to do that i'm not sure what he's going to do in here is he going to take is he going to take the uh uh the ring off here for the towel is he going to take the toilet paper off. He's going to take this uh, this uh, towel bar off, and I believe uh, if it was me, I would be doing that. I'd take all that stuff off, then I don't have to mask around it and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know what he's going to do. Is he going to take the cover plates off? I hope he takes the cover plates off uh, for the light switches and for the electrical outlets on the walls and stuff like that. I hate it when when painters try to paint around that because then you get an edge around there in certain areas. Um, and so the best, the best thing for that is I would, I would take, here's a coaxial cable for a TV. I would take that out, put it sideways, put it back in there. I take this cover plate off and then put masking tape just over the electrical outlet. I take this blank plate off. I take this light switch off and then put masking tape over this light switch. Stuff like that. I would not necessarily recommend putting masking tape around those and trying to paint around those. It just never comes out nice and finished you know what I mean then you get paint edges up here like this and then you try to take that cover plate off later and if you're not careful if you don't score properly you pull that off to to replace a light switch you rip the paint off I've had all that kind of stuff happen so I'm, I'm looking forward to that especially when you get different colors you know the ceilings one color this this wall is one color the wall different color there is he gonna paint the ceiling first so he doesn't have to cut it all in. So some of that paint uh, comes on the wall and then do the wall after he does the ceiling. I'm sure he's gonna work on the ceiling first. There's all kinds of different things he's gonna be doing in here. He's gotta paint this handrail and, and going up the stairs. He's gotta paint all this stuff. How is he gonna paint this up next to the carpet? You know, and get it looking nice. Um, if he puts masking tape, he may have to kind of suck that down uh, to the sides. That's why that's why before well actually he's gonna do that before the carpet guy comes here and the carpet guy comes here and he's gonna have to restretch all this and they and he wanted to come in after the painting got done. So he's gonna have to be real careful when he when he takes his little uh, handheld uh, this, this is big flat bar to kind of suck it back in there. He might mark up the paint. I, I don't know how that's gonna work hope he's, he's real careful when he does that because may have to come back and touch up around that. So different types of things that are coming up on this house that I'm going to make videos of. But, but, uh, and I want you to start watching uh, for more things because there's lots of different things I'm going to do throughout this house. And there's lots of these things might pertain to certain things that you're doing around your house or, or your new house that you're going to buy or the old house that you're, that you're fixing up to sell or something like that. You can always pick up different tips and ideas from Video Joe here, okay? So stick around, I got more things for you, but for right now, the videos that I'm, I'm working on are the doors, I'm still working on the doors, I've got all the doors upstairs on the main floor to work on, and lots of those are, are already okay, but I'm still, gonna, I'm still gonna look at each one and do the different things that I did down here on, on these, but there might be certain things that I have to do differently up there. So you never know what what you're gonna get when you see one, one of my videos. It might be fixing the same the same type of thing, uh, like like a, uh, a door that's sagging, but maybe I use a different technique on fixing the sagging door than I showed you on some of these other doors that I did uh, on this particular, on, on previous videos that I just am finishing on this uh, project, okay? So what I'm saying is every video that I do, you might get some tips and different techniques on your types of projects. So keep watching, okay? 
Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.